What's going on guys, Isaiah or Slash Buddy 24 here. Today, I'm bringing you another guide in Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. And today, I wanted to do sort of a general slash intro guide to flashback relics. Yesterday, I talked about some overall tips and tricks for earning the Platinum Time Trial Relics. And today, I'm going to talk a bit about the Platinum Flashback Relics. You'll need to earn all of these Platinum Flashback Relics in order to unlock the trophy Closing the Experiment Log. And I think that the Flashback Relics and the Time Trial Relics, uh, the Platinum ones that is, are certainly going to be the biggest grind when going for that 100% completion in Crash Bandicoot 4. So there are 21 Flashback Relics to earn uh, throughout Crash Bandicoot 4. And you can find these uh, Flashback Relics throughout the majority of the levels. In order to actually uh, collect one, you need to get to a certain part of the level without dying. So early on in some of the earlier levels, um, they're not too bad because those levels, you know, your, your chances of dying if you're familiar with the level are pretty low. Uh, but in some of the later ones, it is quite a challenge. Usually these flashback relics are in about the halfway point for a level. Uh, for this specific one, in the hit the road mission, or level I should say, um, it's probably in about the like first third of it, so not too bad. But once you get to a point in the level without dying, you'll find that flashback relic. If you have died, the flashback relic, the, the flashback relic will not be able to be collected. Uh, but once you are able to collect it, you will then come here to a sort of separate screen on the level select uh, menu on the world map. And you'll have all of your flashback relics uh, located here. There are a bunch of them for Crash and also a bunch of them for Coco. But then you'll see there on the flashback relic screen that there are three levels of metal that you can earn by completing these missions. There is one for just completing one, one for getting 90% of the boxes, and then the platinum ones which are for uh, breaking 100% of the boxes. Uh, for these levels. The flashback relic missions as you're seeing here, I'm just going to go over the very first one which I believe has uh, quite a number of boxes but is relatively easy compared to some of the later ones. These flashback relic levels sort of just function as like longer bonus stages. Um, they sort of have the general same idea. They are sort of a, uh, how do you call it, like, like a horizontal thing, like a, a 2D level I should say. And you basically just jump around from box to box. They're sort of just like I said, the uh, bonus levels or the bonus little bits throughout the other levels where you take the little question mark platform, go to a uh, different area, then you have a bunch of additional like boxes and lives to collect. They're sort of like their own little individual puzzle. Uh, this first one, as you're seeing here on your screen, uh, is pretty easy and pretty straightforward. You just kind of jump from box to box um, and then hitting, you know, whatever TNT crates along the way. Different from the bonus bits, I should say, from the normal levels, uh, these flashback relic levels have checkpoints at the halfway point. I think that there's one checkpoint box for each flashback level. Uh, so that is obviously very nice. You don't have to do the entire thing in one go without dying. Um, but some of the later ones, I've been playing through some of the later ones myself for these flashback levels, uh, they are definitely a lot more challenging than the initial ones. They are sort of their own little, like, each unique individual puzzle. But uh, in terms of like tips and tricks, there isn't really a lot I can tell you. Um, obviously, you kind of want to just take your time. Playing through the levels multiple times is definitely something that can help you sort of understand what you need to do in order to break all the boxes. Uh, but in general, I would just say holding down X when you're hitting each box gives you a additional air when jumping. So that's certainly something that can help you um, in terms of uh, hitting all the boxes. As you're seeing here, doing double jumps between boxes can also be something that helps you a lot for getting additional air time when moving throughout the level. Uh, but aside from that, it's pretty straightforward and easy. Um, it's just, you know, learning the levels, sort of breaking them down into individual sections, and just going from there. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this general and overall intro guide to Platinum Flashback Relics in Crash Bandicoot 4. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Tomorrow we'll have another Crash Bandicoot 4 guide, this time talking about all the bosses in the game. And then after that, starting next week, we'll have some more individual one-off trophies that I'll be covering. But yeah, either way, having a ton of fun this game, with this game I should say. I hope you are also. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys soon.